Hey guys, welcome back to this Just Survive Live Mic video segment. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the patch note suggestions from the team when they suggested that we log into the game, uh, log back out, delete our user option I and I file, and then log back into the game, which does replace it. Now, it's interesting when you see on Reddit when we mention these things, because sometimes people get a little skittish, they get a little nervous about changing files and whatnot. So today what I wanted to do is just kind of show you guys who are a little reluctant about changing these files. Uh, so basically what you can do is once you're on your Steam, um, I go to my library and I use uh, games, for example, uh, selection here at the top, library, then games, because this way I can see everything that I need here on this left panel. So what you're going to want to do is, and I'll use this example uh, for live since you guys are mostly playing live. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to right click on um, Just Survive and you're going to go to Properties. Right? So once you're on Properties, what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to the Local Files tab. Click on that. And then you're going to click Browse Local Files. And it's going to take you directly into this folder. Now, for the more computer savvy folks who want to do it old school, I guess you could call it is, you would just go to C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Commons, and then H1Z1. The reason I mention that is because I know there'll be people in comments that will say, well, why don't you just, okay, there's plenty of ways to do things, so just wanted to get that out of the way. Now, there are several reasons, <coughs> excuse me, why you would want to use the user INI. Now, when the game first came out, we pretty much had to come in here to do certain types of tweakage. Um, and that is like, for example, we would uh, maybe make some field of view changes. We would make uh, maybe some computations for the mouse to compensate for certain movement or even the reticle. Those are no longer needed. I would not encourage or suggest anyone try to make those types of changes. But let's just say hypothetically that you do you come in here and you maybe mess something up and you go to your game and something isn't working right, all you have to do is delete it. Now, we're in the file right now, but let me just show you all that you do. You're just gonna come to your file, you're gonna right click it, if you wanna right click, and just delete the file, okay? Entirely, it's gone. Now, for this particular purpose, I just wanna show you while we're here in the user INI. For example, like certain things that I changed. Now, I would not encourage you guys to do this. I used to get a lot of flack for what I'm about to show you. Um, and that is that in the user I and I, for the purposes of filming, I change the gamma to 0.5. All right. What this does is it kind of brightens the game up. Yes, it's very controversial, but the reason I do this is for filming. It's just like why I play in PVE. You know, there's reasons why I, you know, film the way I film and there's reasons for them. It's not because I try to avoid PVP or because I don't want to play PVP or um, anything like that, or I want some kind of easy mode. It's for filming purposes mostly. Now, speaking of filming purposes, people who want to stream or want to play in Windows mode, you have to come here as well. For example, here in mode, up here at the top of the screen, if you want to play in windowed mode or you want to set the file to windowed mode, you're just going to type in windowed right here, just like that, okay? I'm not going to change it to window mode right now, but that's what you would do. Is you would change that to window mode. Another thing that you're going to want to have to keep in mind, too, for all the savvy types is, and this is just a personal preference I do. Like, for example, once I change my gamma to 0.5, what I do is, uh, I'm not going to save any of this, is right-click on the user options file and go to properties. And as you can see here, I've got mine set to read only. When you first come here, it will not be read only. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit apply to show you that now is when you want to make your changes because if it's selected to read only, it's not going to save the changes. Or if you don't leave it on read only, once you make a change, so say for example, I'm going to change mine, you know, 0.5. Okay. Or up here, I would change this to windowed right here. Um, you know, changes. Let's go ahead and just do it now. We'll change this to windowed, right? And then I'm going to go to file and I'm going to select save. So now my windowed mode uh, file is now saved, or this section is now saved, and my 0.5 gamma is now saved, okay? Now, I would not encourage you to change this because it will be bright in the game, and you maybe you don't want it to be bright in the game uh, at nighttime. I do it for filming purposes only, again. Um, you know, you can always change it back, or like I said, you can always delete the file. 
So now we're going to just do a save. All right, so these are saved. Now, what I'm going to do is to make sure that the game doesn't change the files is I'm going to go back to properties. I'm going to change it to read only and then hit apply. All right. So now the game is not going to change those files. All right. Now, another thing I want to show you guys, <coughs> excuse me. Another thing I want to show you guys is on occasions. Now, this may not happen to you. It does happen to me from time to time because I make changes. I do a lot of testing and I do a lot of experimentation with the software. So what can happen is you'll get this right here. Yes, it's summertime. I've got family here. I've got all kinds of things going on in the background. So guys, just bear with me uh, through this video. So um, yeah, lots of stuff going on here in the background. But I wanted to get this video out to you. Now, as you can see here, <clears throat> I've got all this junk error strings and uh, crap here on um, on the server loader screen. This is an image from, from a video I did earlier to show um, in the update video what you might experience. But this is what can happen after an update or this is what happens to me after an update on occasions so the other thing I wanted to show you is if you get these little issues or crate issues or problems or strange anomalies in the game when you're playing um, what you can do is we'll go from the beginning again so we're gonna go here to just survive right right click we gonna go to properties we're gonna go to the local files tab and we're going to go to verify integrity of game files. You're going to click on that. And the game is going to verify and validate the files. So if you have some kind of problem, you have some kind of issue with the game, um, you can use this feature here to correct those anomalies like I just showed you um, in that one image that I have already closed out. If you guys have any questions about any of this, uh, playing in Windows mode, streaming, um, yes, I do use the windowed mode for streaming purposes. Uh, if you're an OBS player, if you want to do some game recording uh, on, on your desktop, uh, OBS, you're also going to want to maybe use uh, windowed mode. It's up to you. Um, I personally use Shadowplay. Uh, I just find it to be a great program. I think it's awesome. Um, it has a desktop capability, as you can see here. It's going to just kind of show this right now because it's in window mode. Or I've got it set to do desktop recording versus in-game. Uh, and that's why you see sometimes, you know, why I have a lot of the recordings that I do. Because when I do play, you know, if I see a cheater or I see other things in the game, I want to make sure that I'm able to do screenshots and I'm able to do recording. If you guys haven't already, be sure you click on the watermark that will now be appearing on the screen. Thank you guys so very much for your support uh, for the channel and for the game. Yes, we are three years into this, but there are some things that we still have to tweak. There are still some performance issues with the game. And that's just kind of the way it is. But be sure you also click that bell so you know when I do uploads. This way you guys will have all the latest out of Daybreak and H1Z1.